Hello, my name is Brooke, and this is my little sister Reese. Today we're going to be making tater tot casserole. We have all the ingredients here that you would need to make it. We have some cream of mushroom. You can use any type, any type of cheese, but you must use Velveeta. Okay, and of course, the tater tots. and the ground beef. Okay, let's start cooking. Wait, the gumballs are here. That's right. Before you start cooking, you need to make sure that you wash your hands. First off, we're going to need to cook the tater tot so that we can put it in the bottom of the casserole dish. So first, let's go ahead and see what we need to preheat the oven to. It says 450 degrees. Let's go ahead and do that. Okie dokie. Okay, why don't we go put these tater tots on the pan. Okay, now we're done, so let's go ahead and put it into the oven. But first, the directions say to heat for 12 to 15 minutes and turn after 8 or 9 minutes. But since we're not going to eat it right out of the oven, let's just go ahead and cook it for 12. Okay. Now we're just going to wait for it to cook and come right back. Okay, it's time to cook the meat. So, we're going to use hamburger meat, but you can use uh, chicken, you can use chicken, you can use turkey, both of those are fine. Alright, let's get cooking. So what kind of seasoning are you going to put in it? We're going to use my grandma's seasoning that she makes. It's really, really good. Uh, you can use whatever seasoning that you'd like to use. Pepper, salt, both of those are good. Whatever seasoning you'd like to use. It's really important that you should be cook that you should be cleaning up while you're cooking. It really makes it a lot easier. We see mine throwing away the trash from the hamburger meat. And you want to make sure that the meat is brown, you know, not all raw because that's kind of nasty. Reese, you want to go pick up the tater top casserole bag? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Okay. Your kids should be staying away from the oven and the stove. It's very hot. for the tater tots. Make sure you're aware of the time. Almost 
okay. The timer is off right now, so let's go ahead and take that out. Let the meat sit here. Make sure you have your mitten. It's going to be hot. Okay, after the tater tots are finished and you take them out, you're going to make sure that you have to turn, on, turn off the oven. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, there is a, if you notice, there's a lot of juice and oil in the hamburger meat. So um, we're going to drain it, but my mom doesn't like me around hot stuff, so I'm going to let him do that. We'll be right back. Uh, after you finish with the meat, after you drain it and do all that good stuff, you're going to make sure that you turn off the, uh, the oven because we're done cooking basically. And we're just going to add the cream of mushroom into here to make sure that to mix the mixture. Okay, so we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, like and we're going to put the tater tots into the casserole dish. So you put uh, all the tater tots onto the casserole dish at the bottom. So now we're going to start putting on the cheese. The velveta cheese. Velveta. Velveta. You see, keep it in a straight line, you're going to see After you put the cheese in, you are going to put the meat in. Okay, so you're just going to smooth this out, and after you double that, you're going to sprinkle some cheese on. Let's do that. What kind of cheese do you have there? Uh, we have mild cheddar and mozzarella cheese. You can use different kinds of cheese, it doesn't matter which one. Okay, so you can see your side that I did more wasted, but it's okay. It'll turn out great. Okay, so let's 
bring them here. And remember that your oven should be on 350 degrees. And when you put it in the oven, that you put the, how much, how much time it is, should be 30 minutes. So we're done here with the pita casserole, and my oven does 30 minutes. Is how long it takes for um, the you know pita to get brown and cheese to melt and everything like that. Oh, it looks yummy. yummy! Thank you for watching us and helping us make our pita casserole. We will see you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.